Hey friends, today we are going to be reading a story called Fall Leaves by Loretta Holland, illustrated by Ellie McKay. When summer leaves, fall arrives. In our universe, everything is always moving. The earth spins like a top while moving in a large circle around the sun. The sun also slowly moves in a circle around our galaxy. Our galaxy is slowly spinning too. All of these things make the sun's light come and go, getting closer and brighter to the earth at times or dimmer and further away at other times. These changes create the cycle of days, nights, seasons, and years. In the Northern Hemisphere, the sun's light is moving south as fall arrives in late September. Birds leave. As the sun's light continues to move southward, days begin to get shorter and nights get longer. Some butterflies and birds leave to follow the sun, flying south for the winter. Why do days get shorter as the sun's light moves south? That's right, because the sun is slowly moving in a circle around our galaxy, and our galaxy is slowly moving too. And all these turnings make the sun's light come and go, getting closer and brighter to the earth at times or dimmer and further away at other times. We can see here that as the sun's light continues to move southward, days get shorter and nights get longer. Days get shorter because there is less time where it is light and nights get longer because there is more time when it is dark. Leaves twist. Fall usually brings rain, which makes leaves twist and squirm on tree branches. The bottoms of the leaves look silver like rain and flash in the breeze as rain approaches. Rain falls. Fall rains come hard and steady, rushing off roofs like waterfalls. Sometimes it rains for days. When the rain falls for a long time, rivers and streams rise above their banks and low-lying areas get covered with water. But most of the time, it just puddles up in the road. Flowers leave. The blooms of most flowers leave in the fall. Many flowers such as tulips, daffodils, and others go to sleep for the winter. And when spring comes, they begin to grow again. These types of flowers, called perennials, hibernate in the dirt when there is snow and ice on the ground. There are many animals that do not care much for winter either. They find a cozy spot and like some flowers and trees, go to sleep until warm weather returns. Apples fall. Fall is harvest time when ripened apples fall from trees. Many fruits, grains, and vegetables are harvested, so there will be plenty to eat over the winter. Sometimes the foods go straight from the garden to the table. Sometimes they are sold at roadside produce stands, and sometimes they go in big trucks or train cars to supermarkets all over the world. Leaves fall. Deciduous trees, such as maples, oaks, and hickories, make their own food. Their leaves look very green because of a substance called chlorophyll. In these trees, water, carbon dioxide, and the chlorophyll from their leaves are mixed with sunlight to make a type of sugar. With that sugar, the trees feed themselves. When fall comes and trees begin to prepare for winter, they eat less and the chlorophyll starts to drain from their leaves. This is when the true colors of the leaves come out, brightening up the woods until the leaves fall onto the ground. Why do the leaves on some trees turn different colors in the fall? 
That's right, because when fall comes, the trees begin to prepare for winter and they eat less and the chlorophyll starts to drain from their leaves. Fall stays. Trees, plants, and animals are working hard to get ready for the winter, but there is still time. Fall stays, regardless of the weather, until winter officially starts in late December. Why does the author use the heading fall stays for this section? How long does fall stay? That's right because this section is about fall staying until a certain time. And the time that fall stays until is about late December when winter officially begins. Leaves leave. Most of the leaves leave by early November, blown down by wind and rain. They carpet the woods and roads with brilliant color. Those that are still hanging on the branches will fall when the trees stop feeding. The ends of the branches seal up and the leaves snap right off. Sun leaves. By the time trees stand stark and shivery without their leafy covering, the sun has moved very far to the south. Even on clear days, the sun's rays are weak and give little warmth. Days are short now and the sun leaves early each afternoon. Temperature falls. Some days the sun shines pale yellow and some days it hides behind high clouds and there's a chill in the air. The temperature falls until one morning the ground and all the fallen leaves are white with frost. Snow falls. One day you may notice gray clouds hanging low in the sky. The smoke from chimneys will not rise up as it usually does, but will drift down around the houses and hang in the tops of the trees. That is because the air is so full of moisture that there's no room for smoke. Soon the sky will be dotted with snowflakes as the first snow falls. Fall leaves. After three months of everything from sunny days to cool rains to snowfalls, from green leaves to red and yellow leaves to bare branches, from flocks of birds flying overhead as they follow the sun to birds looking for runaway seeds on the ground, fall leaves. It has been a special time of year, a busy season full of color and change. What does the author mean when she says that fall is a busy season full of color and change? That's right, on this page we can see all of the different changes that happen with fall. We see that it talks about the leaves going from green to red to yellow. We talk about how it goes from sunny days to rain to snowfall, how things change for the birds. So once again, it is a busy season, which is full of color and change. I hope you enjoyed reading this story, Fall Leaves. Have a great day, friends.